Hi there, and welcome to the third instalment of our PE home circuit exercise. Just trying to help out our fans while we're stuck on this lockdown to keep fit and healthy. So, today we're going to do a good old tums and bums type circuit. So, we're working on our abs and our glutes mainly, but we're going to do it with a slight difference to what you typically see. So, most of our movements are going to be what you call anti extension and anti rotation exercises. So, with a lot of core exercises, you'll typically see a lot of crunching type and bending type activity of the trunk and there's nothing wrong with too much of that but basically if you do nothing but that you your disc as you flesh is getting pushed back and that can to lead to back problems nervy irritation problems as well the other thing as well is that the core basically functions as a conduit for transferring force from the legs and to the upper body and vice versa so really this area is built for stability and it's our upper back and our hips that are built for mobility so when we train in the core a lot of it should be based on promoting keeping this area strong and stable okay a bit different from our other circuits we're going to vary the amount of reps so before we start i'm going to show you the key technique points of the different exercises so we can just work between them really quickly so the first one is a good old plank so the only equipment you're going to need is nothing or maybe a mat to protect your knees and elbows. I'm using a, a great one called the Yogi Bear one that's made from recycled material and I highly recommend it. So the plank, you want your elbows underneath your shoulders and you're just propping up so there's a nice straight line from your ankles to your shoulders. So the things we don't wanna see is rounded shoulders up here. So we're slightly tucking in our shoulder blades and we don't wanna see the bum dip or up in the air it's a perfect straight line so the best way to do that focus on that is just tense your bum up so you're tucking your tail under and that'll keep a nice straight line same with the side plank okay so we're propping ourselves up on our elbow it should be below our shoulder again straight line going from our shoulder blade down to our ankle we don't want the bum back or forward and we don't want it dipped or higher just a nice straight line okay when we're working on our glute exercises, so our bum exercises, the main thing to think about here is your finish position. So we want to finish in a nice straight line, using the bum as much as possible and minimizing the back. So just focus on, again on tucking that tail under. So when we do it, we don't want to finish there. We're finishing in that position and then just rest on every rep as well. So you get used to turning your glutes on and off. Next one is what we call a dead pug. So the arms are up and down, and then we're dropping opposite arm and opposite leg and coming up to straight. So what you don't want to see and you typically see is when you drop one leg, the other leg dropping with it, that has got to remain still, which is focusing on that core stability. And then final technique point, the last one is four point extensions. So we're on our fours, we just want nice straight lines below our shoulders and our hips. When we extend, it's one leg and the opposite hand again. The main thing to think about here is we want to stay square on, but the main thing is we want the maximum distance between our middle long finger to our big toe. And by doing that, you automatically recruit all your kind of inner core muscles and you'll feel like that diagonal tension. Okay, so we're going to work on different areas so we can go back to back, listen out for the number of reps because that's going to change a bit more than normal. So we'll start off and we're starting with a basic plank, going for 20 seconds, straight into a side plank. So if you get ready, let's go. Halfway there. So we're gonna go straight into a side plank now, again for 20 seconds. Three, two, one into our side plank. Over halfway, we're gonna quickly swap sides so we're going straight into our other side. Two and one, and swap sides. Have that nice straight line. Next exercise, we're gonna be lying on our backs. And that's time, well done. Okay, total alive. The next exercise, we're going into a shoulder touch plank exercise now. So we're in a push-up position. 
nice straight line and we're just going to try and stay square on and touch our opposite shoulder in a controlled fashion we're going to do five touches each side when we start so we're in the push-up position ready steady let's go Next, we're going on our side. Okay, so we're in our side bridge position. Top elbows like so, and we're just gonna twist down to our bottom fist. Doing it for 10 reps each side. Ready, let's go. Swap sides. Next exercise will be on our backs. Okay, so double leg bridge now. So both legs are on the floor. We're just coming up to top, holding it for one second. And then we're down. Totally relax everything before we go again almost straight away. Okay, on for 10. Ready, let's go. Okay, back into a front plank now. We're doing mountain climbers. So we're in a push up position. Again, nice straight lines. We're just gonna pick up one leg, hold that for about a second, and then we're going with the other leg. Just again, doing five each side. Ready, let's go. We're gonna be in a side bridge position once we've done this exercise. So very quickly, we're going into the side bridge. So, our side bridge this time, rather than twisting, we dip in. So, from here, we're letting our hip come down towards the ground, and then we're back up to straight. We're going to do 10 repetitions. Ready? Let's go. Good. Quickly swap sides again, so we're straight into 10 on the other side. Three, two, and one. Quick swap. Excellent, we're into another bridge exercise now. So we're going with one leg rather than two. With our other leg, we want to be pushing it into our hand. And what that does, it, allow, it takes the back out of the equation and we use the glutes more on this side just automatically. 10 repetitions, ready, let's go. We're just looking to swap legs as soon as you've done the 10. Make sure we're getting a nice straight line through that hip and just relax on each rep again. So straight position, relax, straight into your next rep position. We're going to be going into a plank next, so get ready to roll around. Good, let's go. Okay, so the next one's called a hacksaw, we're in a classic plank position but what we're doing we're coming forward and then back so it's just like a hacksaw moving forward and back we're gonna just work that for 10 seconds okay ready steady let's go that's over halfway three two and one Okay, this time we're doing a side on push up. So it's like a side plank exercise, but we're doing a push up to get that momentum to add a little bit of extra load. So we're on our side, so you can be staggered like that with your feet, but I like to be just on top of each other. Most of my weight's on this arm, and I'm doing 10 push ups, staying nice and side on. And ready, let's go.
swap it side straight away. Okay, very good. On to our bridge exercise now. So this one's called alphabet writing. So we're holding that straight position and with this other leg, we're writing letters of the alphabet and we're gonna write up to the letter E. Okay, so we're up, we're ready. Start off with A. On to B. C, try and keep that hip up. D, stay as still as you can. And then we're crossing. Okay, up to straight, start the alphabet. Try not to move as little as possible. Excellent work, okay. Back into our plank position, we're doing what's called hand slides now. So the real focus of this is staying square on as possible. So we're in our classic position and we're sliding one hand out. You might not be able to get all the way, just go as far as you can. And we're going to do five each side. Try and stay square on. Ready? Let's go. Into side plank position next. So quickly on to the next one. So classic side on position. It's just our movements again to create that manipulation. To challenge our stability. So it's in the side plank. We're going to do five where our movements are like that five where our movements are like that and then swap sides okay we ready let's go swap sides quickly Excellent, well done. So bridge position now. So our bridge position this time, rather than push into the hand here, our hand is pushing in from the side and making our leg go that way, but we're resisting it all the time. And while we're doing that, we're doing 10 bridges. So it look like that as I'm pushing against and resisting. Okay, we ready? Let's go, 10. So this is working our side bum here, as well as this bum there known as a glute medius and glute maximus on this side. Swap sides. Okay, on to our next exercise. So this one's a little bit challenging now. So we're doing what's called a frog push-up. If you can't do them, a normal push-up's still gonna work on your core stability. So when we're down, we're in a nice straight position, and when we come down, we're bringing our knee up to our opposite elbow, and then we work the other side. Try not to have our bum in the air while we do it. We're doing five each side, or 10 just normal press-ups. Okay, let's go. Good. Well done, we're on to our four point exercise now, which is what we described before. So we're on all fours. We're gonna extend out our opposite hand and foot as long as we can, holding it for five seconds. And then we work on the opposite side. And we're gonna do three times each side for five second holds. Okay, so be in the position. We're gonna go three, two, one, and then we're up. Hold it and down. Other side, long as you can. Stretch out that finger, stretch out your toe. Stay square on. Come down, other side. Second set. And down. That thumb in the air. Final set. Thumbs up. Okay, similar now to that, but we're doing it on our back. So these are called dead bugs now. 
So we're in this position, we're gonna drop our left leg with our right hand, keeping everything else perfectly square, and then just go to the other side. We're gonna do five reps each side. Okay, we ready? Let's go. Ooh, last exercise, thank God. Okay, this is a classic one called the French press up. So it's like a normal press up, but we go narrower and higher. So our head's gonna be, forehead's gonna be going near our hands when we do one. Slightly challenging again, so if you can't do them, a normal press up just to finish to fatigue will be absolutely great. So we're in the triangle position. It's like the higher, like I said, than a normal push up. And when I'm down, that's my finished position. Okay, we're finishing with 10. Okay, let's go. And that's it guys, hope you enjoyed it. I was definitely feeling that one. We've done a bit of a core workout with the PA players over Zoom this morning and that was great to see them all. But hopefully we can get through this soon. A big shout out to all the frontline workers that are risking so much to help us out and I hope we can all help them out by staying at home and staying safe. Okay, see you next time.